Uh, blessed be the name of the Lord, Almighty God Almighty. I'm telling you people, I'm here today to do this video because so much things are happening all around, every minute, every hour, every second. I was singing a song last night, my old hymn that I love so much, I Need Thee Every Hour. It's just a wonderful song. Uh, and I tell you, we do, we need the Lord every hour. Every hour, not every day, every week, every hour uh, with all the things going on. So uh, today I'm going to get to my uh, fair use notice here. And um, today I'm going to go over some news. As always, Israel news. Uh, we have news from Lewis in Florida. Uh, a lot going on. I think I'm using three of his videos just to get to the just a quick uh, announcement he make at the beginning about uh, the earthquakes happening, uh, about what's going on with uh, China, uh, Taiwan, and America. A lot of things going on. Uh, we got all kind of stuff, and uh, B BP Earthwatch is talking about uh, this uh, volcano, uh, and they said this volcano, uh, La Palma, is making, um, it's making islands already. I tell you, people, it's a bad, bad thing. And so they were worrying and wondering about a tsunami hitting the East Coast. Everybody's wondering about that. We have a new storm in the sea already. Uh, I think the other storm is going all up uh, the, the coast there, but I think we have another one. Uh, and uh, so we got a lot of things to watch and pray about, people, a lot of things to watch and pray about. And speaking of watching and praying, uh, I had a message coming from Job 5 last night. I'm going to share it with you guys. Oh, my goodness. It was just a great, great, great inspiration from Yeshua. Uh, telling his people to not worry, to trust in him. He's going to take care of everybody. We just have to trust in him, okay, and believe in him. Uh, and not faint, people. And I'm telling you, and he keep giving me confirmations, confirmations. So I'm going to be sharing Job 5 with you today. And so we're going to go to Kerry Geddon, have two important messages. Oh, my goodness. I think both of them are 12 minutes, uh, something like that. So I'm going to try to wrap it up around eight minutes or seven minutes for both of them. Uh, to do both of them because uh, she's talking about some very important things happening right now uh, the, the, with the economy and some other things. So I'm going to share her two videos today. And then we're going to get into uh, another message I want to share you, show you guys. I did send it out to a lot of you guys on email, but uh, I don't know if a lot of you have your, my e your emails. I don't know if you have given me your email. So... Uh, Jan Markell did a video uh, back in September 23rd, and she's talking with Jack Hibb and uh, Michelle Bachman is on her show, and you got to hear what Michelle Bachman is saying, people. If you haven't been aware, uh, you kind of confused about the condition in this country, well, she really breaks it down, and I, I can't even go over the whole thing on my channel, but I will put it in the description box for you who didn't get to see that message, okay? Because it's very important to see that message if you want to know really what's going on right now. With all the stuff with Afghanistan, you got all these things going on, people coming here. Uh, it's just a lot going on, okay? A lot is happening. Uh, the Vatican, if you're keeping up with uh, Signs of the Times videos, I think his name is Signs of the Times, is it? Is that guy Signs of the Times, uh, that video we watched? Signs of the Last Days. Signs of the Last Days, his videos, okay? If you're watching his videos, uh, he's really keeping up with things with the Vatican. So uh, we have a lot to talk about here today on this video, so let me get moving. I'm going to go ahead and play uh, a song coming from Miranda again. I love this song so much. It tie in with all the things going on. So... Uh, let me go ahead and get into Miranda's song, and then we'll get into the news and um, and get into the Bible. Okay, let me go ahead and do it right now. Let me go ahead and mute this out. <clears throat> it's a very nice day here in Colorado today. It's in my, uh, might be in the 80s. I don't know if it's in the 80s or the late, late high my, 70s. High 70s, high 70s. But I'm really tired of the heat, so <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping it all just go away. So let's go here and uh, mute.
soldiers searching for happiness to escape from a life of emptiness, meaningless, hopelessness, pointlessness. To gain the whole world just to lose their souls. Help us, O oh Lord, to remember. Even though we are in this world, we're passing through. Our hope is in what we don't see, waiting on you. Lord, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done here on earth as in heaven. TV7 Israel News is made possible thanks to your generous donations. Shalom, good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcast to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. Israeli Navy Chief of Staff Rear Admiral David Sal Salma stresses that the right of the Jewish people to live in their ancestral homeland with tranquility, honor, and peace remains a persistent struggle in the face of many constant dangers. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken stresses that while Washington is keen on reviving the 2015 nuclear agreement with Iran, the latter's actions are diminishing those prospects. 
Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett discusses with Russian President Vladimir Putin various regional matters regarding security and diplomacy. The Israeli defense establishment operates in all sectors against all malign actors and does so to ensure the security of the citizens of Israel. Speaking at a blue and white faction meeting earlier this week, Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz reiterated his view that while the Islamic Republic of Iran may be regarded as Israel's main challenge, it is first and foremost a global threat. <laughs> כפי שפורסם לאחרונה סוכלה עוד פעולה תוקפנית של איראן שכוונה נגד יעדים ישראלים בקפריסין. איראן ממשיכה להיות איום עולמי, אזורי וגם אתגר למדינת ישראל ואנחנו נמשיך לפעול בכדי להגן על אזרחינו וביטחון ישראל בכל מקום ומול כל איום. The remarks by Jerusalem's top defense official were made at a time when the Israel Defense Forces is holding near-daily memorial ceremonies for the fallen troops of its separate military branches. During one of those ceremonies held by the Israeli Navy and the city of Ashdod last night, the recently appointed Chief of Staff of the Navy, Rear Admiral David Sal Salma, highlighted that commemorating the fallen is a constant reminder which brings clarity to the price of living in an independent, sovereign and prosperous state within the land of Israel. על הזכות להיות כאן, בארצנו, בשלווה, בכבוד ובשלום. הטלטלה הדרמטית סביבנו, הקולות המאיימים על שלומנו, מאמצי האויבים לפגע בנו, אומרים לנו בבהירות שאינה משתמעת לשתי פנים. עוד ארוכה הדרך למנוחה, עוד רבות הסכנות. Admiral Salma further asserted that the turbulence surrounding in which Israel is situated, namely the volatile Middle East, demands of the Jewish state to continuously bolster its power and maintain its determination. אמצעי לחימה חדשניים ושותפות מלאה עם יתר כוחות הביטחון וצה"ל. אנו נמשיך להרחיב את יכולתנו המבצעיות, נמשיך לפעול במרחב הימי, נכונים ליום פקודה ונחושים לפעולה רצופה בכל מרחבי הים, להבטחת שלומם של אזרחי מדינת ישראל. To ensure the peace of the citizens of the state of Israel, Jerusalem's top diplomat, Foreign Minister Yair Lapid, is scheduled to travel to the United States next week on Tuesday for a two-day visit at the invitation of U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, as was reported by TV7 last night. In a subsequent conversation with a senior Foreign Ministry source in Jerusalem, it has been confirmed to TV7 that the talks with the American top diplomat in Washington will focus primarily on how to confront Iran's malign behavior throughout the Middle East, as well as a follow-up to meetings that were held in the U.S. Capitol between U.S. President Joe Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett and U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan and Israeli National Security Council Director Eyal Khulata, respectively, which focused on how to prevent the Islamic Republic from acquiring nuclear weapons. It is important to know that following the latter meeting, in which NSA Sullivan chaired a closed session of the U.S.-Israel Strategic Consultative Group, it was relayed to the Israeli delegation that while the Biden administration believes diplomacy is the best path to ensure that Iran never lays its hands on a nuclear weapon, if diplomacy fails, the United States is prepared to turn to other options. However, until that moment when the Biden administration determines that diplomacy has indeed failed, the United States remains committed to return to compliance with the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, or JCPOA, which is the 2015 nuclear agreement.
This message was once again relayed last night to Moscow when U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken held a phone conversation with his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov. In a press briefing of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, or OECD, in the French capital Paris, Secretary Blinken highlighted the important role which Russia plays in trying to revive stalled nuclear negotiations in Vienna. The United States uh, and Russia, I think, uh, share the, uh, an interest in seeing uh, a mutual return to compliance uh, with the JCPOA. Uh, Russia has been uh, an important uh, participant uh, in, this, uh, in this effort, uh, and we talked about uh, uh, where things stand. Uh, we talked about the commitment of the United States to return to compliance, uh, but the necessity of uh, Iran uh, being willing uh, to do the same thing. Secretary Blinken further noted a warning, however, to his Russian counterpart that the runway is getting shorter and shorter on the prospect of a mutual return to compliance with the 2015 nuclear agreement, given what Iran is doing with its nuclear program that is inconsistent with the obligations under the JCPOA and the constraints imposed by the JCPOA. Therefore, we're getting closer and closer to a point where simply returning to compliance with the JCPOA won't recapture the benefits of the agreement. It is important to know that the phone conversation took place right after the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov concluded a meeting with his Iranian counterpart Hussein Amir Abdullahian in Moscow. After their meeting, which was held behind closed doors, Minister Lavrov voiced his belief that the nuclear agreement must be revived solely based on its old parameters, which were agreed upon in 2015 and later adopted under UN Security Council Resolution 2231. Говорили по вопросам, которые связаны с совместным всеобъемлющим планом действий по урегулированию ситуации вокруг иранской ядерной программы. И мы, и иранские друзья, исходят из того, исходим из того, что путь к восстановлению договоренности, которая была закреплена резолюцией Совета безопасности ООН 2231, лежит исключительно через ее последовательное, полноценное выполнение всеми сторонами на основе изначально зафиксированного в ней баланса интересов. Москва и Тегеран едины в том, что переговоры в венском формате должны быть как можно скорее возобновлены. Иранская сторона, как мне подтвердил коллега, к этому готова. При этом есть понимание, что переговоры – это не самоцель. Мировое сообщество ждет возвращения Соединенных Штатов в правовое поле ядерной сделки и отмены незаконных рестрикций как в отношении Исламской Республики Иран, так и в отношении всех ее торгово-экономических партнеров. Moscow's top diplomat went on to reject the U.S. position, which is promoted in parallel by the United Kingdom and France and to a lesser degree by Germany, that once the 2015 nuclear agreement is potentially revived, it would then serve as a basic framework for additional negotiations in order to lengthen and strengthen the deal to take into account Iran's ballistic missile program and malign foreign policy. Minister Lavrov went on to praise the growing economic relations between Russia and Iran, as well as the Islamic Republic's defiant role toward the Western-promoted rules-based world order. Особое внимание мы посвятили двусторонней торгово-экономической повестке. У нас устойчивый рост товарооборота, который, несмотря на пандемию, несмотря на нелегитимные американские санкции, за первые семь месяцев текущего года увеличился на 42%, почти до 2 миллиардов долларов. И условились на этом не останавливаться, продолжать содействовать укреплению этой тенденции, развивать деловые связи, в том числе по линии наших регионов. Говорили о проблемах международной, региональной жизни, высказались в пользу выстраивания международных отношений на прочных принципах Устава ООН. Мы с иранскими друзьями отвергаем продвигаемый Западом неоколониальный миропорядок, основанный на правилах, который предполагает разработку таких правил келейно в обход универсальных структур с целью впоследствии попытаться навязать эти правила всем остальным. Как мы уже не раз говорили, наши правила – это Устав Организации Объединенных Наций. 
скоординировали наши подходы на различных многосторонних площадках. Meanwhile, Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett held a phone conversation with Russian President Vladimir Putin earlier today, during which Bennett congratulated Putin on his 69th birthday, which is marked today. Per a written statement that was communicated by the Prime Minister's media advisor, the two also discussed various regional matters regarding security and diplomacy. Thank you for watching us. As part of TV7 Israel's prayer initiative, I would like to encourage you today to join the team and me here in Jerusalem to lift up Angola in prayer for its salvation and peace, alongside prayers for our persecuted brothers and sisters worldwide, in addition to our ongoing prayers for the peace of Jerusalem and the salvation of Israel. I'm Jonathan Hassan wishing you an Erev Tovu Mevorach and we will see you again tomorrow at the same time. going on my name is Luis. today is october 7 2021 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel before i start guys give this video a big thumbs up and share this video we got some breaking news updates and it says here tokyo earthquake city rocked by 6.2 magnitude earthquake and residents were put on high alerts this is something really big so please continue praying for the people out there in tokyo we do have a prayer wall link. If you guys want to send prayers, please continue to pray. Uh, yesterday, there was also a strong earthquake that shook buildings in Pakistan. Now, I feel like this magnitude could be a lot strong, guys. But it seems like they're trying to not to panic many. They're trying to keep the magnitude in a six point plus, right? But if buildings are shaking, and residents on high alert. I mean, it, it, look, I never seen anything like this. I seen strong magnitudes like California and stuff like that. They get hit with like 6.5, but you don't see nothing that says high alerts. Um, and this here was supposedly this was a 60 kilometers deep, 60 kilometers, and they were put on high alert. I don't know. We're going to see what's going on here, guys. But before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Guys, what's going on? My name is Luis. Today is October 7, 2021. And welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. Before I start, guys, give this video a big thumbs up and share this video. We got some breaking news updates. And it says here, the United States has secretly deployed U.S. soldiers to Taiwan to prepare for possible future conflict also guys we got some more breaking news updates china warns that the world stands on the brick of a major war over taiwan situation is looking really bad uh there's been more than 100 chinese aircraft plane that uh appeared in taiwan airspace since friday last week and that is a warning of a war uh, to come. I do believe eventually these two superpower nation will go at it and war is going to open up somewhere in the South uh, China Sea. And for those of you that has been hiding under a rock and thinking that everything is beautiful and this and that, and I'm taking the prune juice and you're not taking prune juice and this and that, let me tell you guys something. There is a huge battle that is about to start. There's a possibility it might be by the end of this year. These two superpower nations are building up. There is tons of U.S. warships. Japan is preparing Taiwan is preparing. You have multiple kingdoms right now. Australia with their submarines. Uh, man, they have nuclear warheads and stuff like that. I mean, nations are preparing. Meanwhile, Americans is like, oh, no, it's going to happen here. Everything's going to be fine and everything. It, 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 it's just people live in this fantasy world that they think everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. Wake up, man. Wake up, woman, man and woman. People need to start waking up, all right? Stop living in that fantasy world. You're being controlled world system style and all that type of stuff. Bad things are coming, but people are not prepared. People are not prepared. This war right here will be the biggest of them all. 
We are talking about World War III right here. So keep your eyes on Taiwan. Keep your eyes on the South China Sea because big things are coming and it could possibly be by the end of this year. Before I start, get this video. Louis, today is October 6, 2021, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. Before I start, guys, give this video a big thumbs up and share this video. We got some breaking news updates, and it says here, Strong earthquake strikes Pakistan, shaking multiple cities, and leaving over 20 gone. Now, I'm using cold word here, guys. I'm using cold words. So, there was a 5.9 quake that struck. October 7, 3.01 a.m. GMT time. And there is still a lot of reports going on, a lot of updates. We have all the information. Now, please pray for the people out there. We do have a prayer wall link in the description box if you guys want to send prayers. Also, guys, not too long ago, uh, it was like a month ago, I talked about a strong earthquake to strike somewhere in the Middle East. And I mentioned Israel will one day see a huge earthquake and this earthquake is going to be so big that there's a possibility it will bring down the temple mount and that's when possibly the third temple would come to place and i don't know if the uh the temple mount was shaken but uh, we're gonna find out in this one here guys we're gonna find out but this quake was felt miles away people felt it uh, we're talking about multiple cities here. So uh, I do believe there's a possibility. Who knows? Maybe the temp, uh, Temple Mount might have uh, uh, felt the shake. So just like that, guys, we are witnessing uh, the burning mountains, the earthquakes in various places. And I heard in Kilauea uh, Volcano, Hawaii, there was a 4.9 that shook that area. So we are seeing a, 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 a huge event of the earth and the earth, uh, excuse me, the heavens and the earth shaking. There you go. A magnetic pole shift going on. And like I said, guys, all this is all written in the scriptures. This here is Bible prophecy, believe it or not. This is striking right there. Um, and um, I was going to say Lebanon, excuse me, Pakistan. So we're going to see what's going on here, guys. Now, before I start, uh, give this video a big Well, guys, I lost my BP Earthwatch report here. It must not here. So I will put it in the description box, okay? I'll do that. It's just talking about what his uh, graphic things on uh, La Palma and stuff like that. But I'll put it in the description box because sometimes things just float out of here. I don't know why, but it happens. Uh, I'm going to go over and let you listen to uh, Carrie get in two videos, okay? I think it's one here, three major banks, and then over here, uh, Mayday, Mayday, I heard late last night. Uh, so I'm going to share those with you, so maybe it's kind of good I don't have him up here now. But let me also announce to you on the screen right here, uh, Why Now Matters, Pastor Jack Hibbs and Michelle Bachman. I want you to go and listen to this hour and six minutes video, okay? Uh, and uh, especially Michelle Bachman, what she have to say about what's going on right now. If you're really unaware of really what's happening to the world and what's happening in America and what's happening in government, what's happening in the political uh, agendas going on. So that's why I want you to go listen to her uh, and, and Jack Hibbs' uh, video here. I did send it to a lot of you last night, okay? So let me go ahead and get over to Carrie. Uh, let me go ahead and mute out again. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise Yah, everybody, praise Yah, one more time, amen and amen, this is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ, okay brothers and sisters, sorry, I'm just trying to fix this, this device, Hallelujah. Oh, Father God of creation. Mighty, mighty God of creation. Brothers and sisters, 
today in the last, I would say, probably half an hour because I've literally posted what I'm about to say on my Facebook page. And when I did it, because the Lord told me to write, and when I did it, I know that there are some brothers and sisters who are not on my Facebook, who are not on Facebook, but they're on you, you. So I'm doing this video because I want this message to go out. Brothers and sisters, on the 6th of October, 2021, around, what time is it now? Going up to seven o'clock. So a little bit around maybe six o'clock, I would say probably, yeah. Six o'clock um, UK time. There was a very, very strong signal in my spirit brothers and sisters and to be honest with you i don't get these signals in my spirit um unless something is desperately wrong and i heard mayday mayday a very distressing feeling in my heart and i said to the lord lord what is it what is wrong father god because something is kicking off <laughs> Sometimes I don't know how I don't cry when I don't when I do these videos. You know, sometimes you watch other brothers and sisters and they just break down in tears. I don't know how I don't cry because oftentimes my eyes just fill with water with what's going on in the realm of the spirit. But this is what the Lord gave to me. And I just wrote it straight away. Wrote it straight away on my Facebook page, brothers and sisters. Listen very, very carefully. Very, very carefully. There is an high alert of mayday, mayday distress signal in my spirit. A wave of death will hit this world like nothing no one has ever seen. Trickery and sorcery has been used on the people. The seducing and lying spirits in some pastors have helped to seal the fate of many along with the wicked pharaohs in the earth. Distress, distress, distress is approaching. Fear will grip many. The only refuge is in the Holy Spirit and prayer as the key. Much prayer and boldness will be needed in this great distress that is coming. Again, trickery and sorcery has been used on the people who fell for the lie, resulting in distress upon the land, says the Lord. This is the word, this is the message, brothers and sisters, it was so amazing because when I was writing this message on my Facebook um, profile, my Facebook timeline, I just write. Like I was writing and the Lord was just downloading in my spirit what to write. Warned people, brothers and sisters, there's, I don't know if it's today, it's been sent out, could be, 
but everybody's different anyway. The Lord speaks to everybody in a different way. But I know six o'clock on the 6th of October, six o'clock UK time, a great distress has been sent out. A great distress, mayday, mayday, have been sent out um, to God's people. It is time. I've just done a video. I've uploaded a video. And I said to brothers and sisters, watch, high watch for December. High watch, brothers and sisters, for December. Because activities are about to happen. And in that video, yes, I talk about certain activities, but December, brothers and sisters, in my spirit is a high watch. And I feel like there's some form of alert. Alert in the realm of the spirit has been sent out. I don't know if anybody has received an alert in their spirit man today, which is a six of October 2021 now yes speaks to everybody differently so some of you may have had the alert last week couple days ago I don't know but my alert my alert came on the 6th of October 2021 at six o'clock brothers and sisters a May Day alert has gone out in the realm of the spirit what is about to come what is about to unfold brothers and sisters i am telling you this is the result this is the result of the wicked pharaohs and the wicked sorcery companies you know what i'm talking about brothers and sisters you know the wicked pharaohs the wicked sorcery companies and the wicked pastors have caused this, this mayday. And people are not listening. People are doing what they want to do. There's this hype and this proud and this boastfulness in the spirit. Yah said enough is enough. And the distress that they're putting on Yah's people. Amen. The, um... Not, not, not necessarily bullying. Well, it could be bullying, borderline bullying, to be honest with you. But the um, borderline bullying, borderline persecution, borderline forcing, borderline cursing out yes people to go for the you know what. Yes said enough is enough. Enough is enough. You have chosen your path. You have chosen your path. And your path is to eat the pudding. That is your path. That is what you have chosen. Some of us haven't chosen to eat the pudding. Because it tastes off. It's horrible. It's spoiled. We don't want it. And yeah, I've heard the cry of many of us. With the downright forcing and cursing and bitterness against your own families and friends who have not eaten the pudding and yes said enough is enough enough is enough distress mayday a wave of death is coming it is coming brothers and sisters prior is the only key prior is the only key your only refuge your only refuge is in the holy spirit in the holy spirit brothers and sisters because i'm telling you when this thing is happening you you will have to call on the name of the lord you're going to have to call on the name of the Lord. But these things must come to pass. It has to. End times. Nothing like this has never happened before. But it's going to happen. Sorcery. And trickery. Rather trickery first. Trick the people. Trick them. Then they use a sorcery. And the people fell for it. 
Now that they fell for it, the Lord said, a wave, a wave. That's what I heard, a wave of many people going six foot under is going to come. It's going to come, but I wanted to come and, and just release this prophetic word in my spirit. May day, a may day in the realm of the spirit has been a distress may day. Brothers and sisters have been given out, have been given out. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Yah, everybody. Praise Yah, another time. Amen and amen. This is your sister, Carrie Ann, in Jesus Christ. Okay, brothers and sisters, I want to come to you with a, you know, my messages. These end time messages are getting serious and serious as the days goes by. I am seeing prophecies unfolding on this channel, brothers and sisters, before my eyes, and I give ya thanks. Now, last week, one week ago, one week ago, I, I made a prophecy. I prophesied and I said to people, I said to brothers and sisters, look, keep some money in your possession. I'm not saying to draw all of your money out of your banks. That's not what I'm saying. You know, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying keep something in your homes because there's going to come a time when something is going to happen and, um, and you won't be able to get your monies out, brothers and sisters. And if you can't get your money out, you know, you can't buy stuff. Now, the 7th of October, I want you to listen to me very, very carefully, brothers and sisters, please. The 7th of October, 2021, three major banks in the United Kingdom, which I am part of one of them called Halifax. All right, Halifax Bank. I give up vision about Bantu Bank and Halifax Bank and about that. But anyway, <laughs> that's how about this video today. But um, three major. These are the three. One of the th three of the three biggest banks serving about eighty million customers in the United Kingdom all went down at six thirty this morning. All went down for several hours, just like Facebook, Instagram. And what's the other one? Facebook, Instagram, and oh, gosh. I often get the name. The devil is a liar. Facebook, Instagram, and it's three of them. Twitter? No. WhatsApp. Thank you, Lord. WhatsApp. Those three went down a couple days ago. I did a video about that. You need to watch the video and see the reason why they went down. I will leave it pinned. But now three, I want you to understand the numbers. Three major social media went down two days ago. Now three major banks in the UK went down this morning at 6.30ish for several hours. Brothers and sisters, I want you to understand that the wicked pharaohs of this world are doing something called test run. That is all this one is. Because people are complaining, brothers and sisters, that when they try to check their account, it was empty. Like, okay, zero, zilt, no money in their account. Like a massive glitched as happened, some people could not even get on the internet banking. They could not get into the the, uh, into the the accounts were like frozen. But I gave the prophecy, brothers and sisters, in two thousand. Sorry, in two thousand and um, in two thousand and sixteen, the Lord showed me in a vision that the banks. Okay, the Lord showed me in a vision that the banks in the UK are going to be closed. And I saw lines of people trying to get their money out. But in the background, the Pharaoh that's governing um, the country was having secret meeting and telling the secret people that they're going to crash the banks. The vision is true. Now, thank be to the Most High, yeah, 
the banks are not working because it's all only temporarily temporarily for several hours people could not get their money out but brothers and sisters let me tell you something when they're going to crash this thing this is going to be permanent do you understand what i'm saying brothers and sisters this is going to be like yeah and the, the way how you're going to eventually have access to your money is when the triple six comes in because they're going to in they have to crash the economy to introduce the three sixes the triple sixes of revelation 13 they have to do it to introduce that and so when they actually you know freeze everybody's account and said oh something is happening big massive glitch ray 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 tay 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 um you're gonna have a little small window where paper money where paper money is still in use you still can use your paper money you still can use your credit cards you still can use your coins but that's only gonna be for a short moment of time then they're gonna come and say well no more paper money it's all digital it's all digital and no more credit cards this is how you're going to get your money this is how you're going to buy stuff it is the three sixes it is coming brothers and sisters yeah is waking up the church yeah is telling you to prepare yourself i gave the prophecy a week ago i said get your money out and see the 7th of october 2021 three major banks next time it won't be three major banks it will be all the banks like all all every single banks in the uk and also in the world in america and of everything do you understand what i'm saying so it is all coming brothers and sisters and we have to be one step ahead of satan we've got to be one step ahead of the devil and his trickery so the prophecy is true i will leave it linked in the description box and the comment section where i say get some money out get some money out brothers and sisters now i am talking to myself as well because i did have a little bit of something in my purse it's all gone so you know i need to go and try and get something out but brothers and sisters brothers and sisters i don't know what you're looking for you're looking for a better world <laughs> We're, we're literally heading towards the end of age. Jesus Christ of not Jesus Christ, the biblical, the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth says, Behold, I am with you until what? Until what? Until the end. The end of this age. So that means that this dispensation that we're in, brothers and sisters, it will come to an end. And in coming to the end in Satan, Lucifer, the devil, the accuser of the brethren, will rule for a certain time. He will rule for a certain time, brothers and sisters. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. Get some money out of the bank. Put it in your houses. Keep it in your possession, brothers and sisters. I am telling you, please get some money out. It doesn't matter if it's 20 quid, 20 dollars, whatever it is, get some out. I'm not, you know, I'm not encouraging you to get all of it out because, you know, we don't know when they're going to really do the thing. But please get some out. Keep some money on you. This is very serious. This is very important. And the fact that it comes in threes. See that, brothers and sisters? Three major social media closed down a couple of days ago for god knows how long for half a day or whatever then now we've got three bands it comes in threes three 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 this is all the work with numbers three three thirty three highest free um free masonry something of the sort it comes in numbers brothers and sisters three plus three six they're telling you they're getting ready they're getting ready to install the antichrist this is all that this is Brothers and sisters, really, really, really getting ready to install the wicked one. So when I saw that this morning, because I have, um, I had to ring my bank, right? Um, but I saw the, um, I saw this morning when they said that, look, can't get in touch because it's closed. So 
something is kicking off brothers and sisters and they don't know why they don't know why the banks the three banks all together just went down like that or every account people were saying some people genuinely thought when they look because i think that some people could have looked into their account and when they look in the account it was completely empty no money obviously it was a glitch okay because the accounts are now restored and the monies are there but brothers and sisters imagine you have your little penny it doesn't matter if it's a pound two pounds three pounds, it doesn't matter and then you open your account and it's completely empty it is frightening it is frightening it is all it's all coming together for the wicked ones i said coming together for the wicked one because they know they're going to rule these are the seed of the serpent these people brothers and sisters are they're doomed unto hell these pharaohs these pharaohs are literally doomed unto the lake of fire so i wanted to come and do the warning again please get your money get some money out keep some money in your possession please keep some money in your possession just in case if they come and say look can't get no money out one of you at least have got some paper money to go to the shop and you can still um get your food and water and, and pay for your bill the reason why i said don't get all your money out because i know that obviously um people use their account to pay for bills all right so be foolish of me to say get everything out then they're going to be in trouble with your bill with your water and this and that so that's just a keep something for your bill to pay your bills and stuff like that um but just keep some in a you know a safe place so that when cut the, the banks will crash this this morning the 7th of october 2021 is a test run this is a major 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 test run brothers and sisters and the lord is warning and please wake up i don't know again i keep on saying this channel is an end times channel this is all you're gonna get you know so if you want to come in here and say this is a karen channel is doom and gloom and whatever that's totally up to you but i it's an end times channel brothers and sisters so you just got to be in the know-how okay so be bold be strong be courageous boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had to let you guys hear these two messengers because she's telling the truth, okay? I mean, we don't know what can happen from one day to the next. I mean, we really don't know. And so that's why we need to be prepared. Uh, we need to have money in the house. We need to have a little silver in the house if you have it. Uh, whatever you can have because you don't know what. I wish I had some gold. I don't have any. <laughs> but... Uh, you know, I'm just saying you need to be prepared. Uh, don't be dumb. Don't be stupid. Even the, the ants prepare for winter. Uh, so, you know, I think animals are a lot smarter than man today anyway. You know, animals are just more smarter than me. I'm sorry. It's just proven to be the fact. Uh, because we don't seem to understand we got a Heavenly Father who cares so much about us, but we don't care nothing about Him. <laughs> we don't care nothing about Him. We just think we can do it our way. Uh, oh, it's our life, our this, our that. Well, you know, these days are ending. These days are ending. And when he gave me Job 5 uh, last night, uh, man, I was like, wow, Father. Because I was asking him, I said, what, I'm go what are we going to do, Father, your people? Uh, I'm here. My children are scattered. Uh, a lot of the nomina all, a lot of, a lot of the body of Christ is scattered. Uh, we can't even get together and have a fellowship. We can't even get together and have a, a tabernacles because everybody's scattered. Uh, we sick, uh, broken down. We can't get to those places. And I'm like, what are we going to do when all this stuff break loose? Uh, all the, the, the volcanoes and uh, now we got La Palma and, and, they, and it's going towards the Atlantic and we can have tsunamis, uh, uh, volcanoes under the sea and everybody think it's going to crush into the East Coast, into Florida, whatever. Uh, Father, I said, what are we going to do? And he gave me this message. So when he gave me this message, I was like, wow, that is an amazing message. So I'm going to share it with you guys. Uh, I'm telling you, uh, it's time that this really trust in the god almighty he's the only one know where you are know where you live know your name okay i'm telling you that 
know your name, know where you live, and, that, and everything about you. So ain't no need to trust in man, trust in these people. You need to put your trust, build a relationship with Yeshua, Hamashiach, your king, the king, king, lord of lords. Because I'm telling you, he's coming soon with all his holy angels. I think somebody said the day supposed to be the rapture happened today. I heard that too, but... Oh, darn People. it, we're still here. <laughs> darn it. But um, I think uh, we're going... It is time to prepare your yeah. heart to meet <laughs> your creator. <laughs> you better get to know him. He knows who you are, but do you know him? Mm -hmm. Are you in mm -hmm. his family? You need to be grafted into his family. Right. Born from above. <laughs> born physically, then born spiritually. Okay, what do you want to do? So, uh, Father, be with us as we read Job 5 to the people, because I thought it was very encouraging for me uh, that you will be with us all through, the, all through these storms and troubles and tribulations. You will be with your people if they be with you. You say you will never leave us, but will they leave you? That's the point. So, uh, we just ask that you let your Holy Spirit come down and be with us as we read this message right now in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I don't know, people. It, it's just uh, God is so almighty. I was talking to my friend today in, uh, from Indiana, and we prayed a prayer uh, over a family member. So she called me, gave me a text, uh, uh, email, said, Marner, oh, last night. And I told the Lord, I said, Lord, get that woman out of the hospital before she get worse and can't get out, and they won't let her out. And so she said, oh, my, she's home. She's out. And I know the lady over in Nevada, we prayed for her husband that time to get home, to get out. And she was out the next day, fine and working again. Prayer is real, people. You need to just trust the Lord to do things for your family, do things for you. But in this prayer, in this here, you'll see if you see anything out of it. You can go to the Amplified Version. I did read it from that, but I'm not going to read it from this version. But go ahead and we can read it here now. Okay, let's go. I don't know if I, I hope I can read, folks. It's getting hard. <laughs> Call out now. Is there anyone who will answer you? To which of the set apart ones will you turn? For anger kills the foolish man, jealousy kills the silly one. I have seen a foolish person taking root, but suddenly I cursed his home. His children are far from safety, they are crushed in the city gate, there is no one to rescue them. The hungry eat up their harvest. They even take it from among the thorns. The thirsty pant for their wealth. For difficulties do not come out from the soil. Neither does trouble sprout from the ground. Instead, mankind is born for trouble, just as sparks fly upward. But as for me, I would turn to the Almighty himself. To him I would commit my cause. He who does great and unsearchable things, marvelous things without number. He gives rain on the earth and sends water on the fields. He does. Go back. Go back. I got to repeat that. When I seen that, I was like, oh, my God, that is such a wonderful message. He who does great and unsearchable things, marvelous things without number, marvelous things mm -hmm. without number, things that you can't even think about, can't phantom about. He is in charge, people. He's in charge. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Google can't handle him. <laughs> he does this in order to send, to set up on high those who are low, to raise to safety those who mourn. He breaks the plans of the crafty people so that their hands cannot achieve success. Well, see, this thing coming down. It's coming down, people. He showed me these, all this sorcery, like what, what she just said, Carrie, all this sorcery going on, all this stuff they're trying to do with our kids and children, all these evil plans, you're sure going to bring them down. He's going to bring them down, people. Go read Ezekiel 32 chapter where he talk about it even more. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, it's coming down, but it's going to be ugly for several years, yeah. folks, so you better <laughs> get ready. He traps wise people in their own crafty actions. The plans of twisted people are hurried to their end. That's what's happening. We're hurrying to the end. They encounter darkness in the daytime and grope at noonday as if it were night. But he saves the poor person from the sword in their mouths and the needy person from the hand of mighty people. So the poor person has hope and injustice shuts her own mouth. See, blessed is the man whom the Almighty corrects. Therefore, do not despise the chastening of the Almighty, for he wounds and then binds up. He wounds and then his hands heal. He will rescue you out of six troubles. 
Indeed, in seven troubles, no evil will touch you. That's what we need. Wow. we got seven years of trouble coming, Wow, folks. isn't that amazing? <laughs> so you have to trust the Lord. You're oh, going to be hidden, hallelujah, covered, hallelujah. protected. He'll see you through. <laughs> and that means whether you're martyred or not, or however <laughs> it happens. In famine, he will rescue you from death. <laughs> and in war, from the hands of those who use the sword. Hallelujah. You will be hidden from the scourge of the tongue. And you will not be afraid of destruction when it comes. You will laugh at destruction and famine, and you will not be afraid of wild beasts. And I'll say, thank you, Lord, thank you. You know I don't like beasts, I don't like bugs. I she doesn't like, like the little <laughs> tiny ones, oh my. For you will have a covenant with the stones in your field. You will be at peace with the wild beasts. You will know that your tent is in safety. You will visit your sheepfold and find nothing missing. Isn't that, that amazing, amazing how you tent? mentioned tents and we still That's, in tabernacles? Oh, no, it's so funny. We're in tabernacles and the homeless, <laughs> many homeless people live in, in tents. tents. And yeah. Trust him, folks. Trust mm. him. <laughs> you will also know that your posterity is great, that your offspring will be like the grass on the ground. You will come to your grave at a full age like a stack of grain sheaves that is carried up to the threshing floor. Well, I won't die before my time. <laughs> what he's saying. You won't you, die before you'll die. Not won't die. You <laughs> cannot die. It's impossible for you to die before your time. <laughs> See, we have examined this matter. It is like this. Listen to it and know it for yourself. Well, you see what Job said? Oh, my goodness. Save yourself from this wicked generation. <laughs> That's what it says in the New Testament part. So you need to know this is a message from Yeshua, and I'm telling you to me, I'm giving it to you. We have nothing to really worry about, people, unless nothing you've got to follow the globalists nothing. and follow these people and Don't do what they tell you to do stuff. and, uh, uh, you know, partying and not paying attention and just ignoring God. Totally come down to that, ignoring him, not doing anything he say do. Like children ignore their parents. They don't do nothing they tell them. Nothing that the parents say do, and then they go out and make a fool of their life, make a mess of their life, and it's the same thing. We can make a mess of our a mess of our life when we don't follow the follow. When we don't father follow the father, we can make a mess of our life when we don't follow the heavenly father. Is what I want to say. So uh, it's time to really repent, repent, and pray like you never prayed before. And get your act together because just because it's looking like it's really nice and sweet and all that some days, we know where we're headed. We know where we're headed. Please don't mess up and miss. Just do what I told you to do about J.M.I. Kell video. I posted it in the description box. Michelle Bachman. Tell her uh, Michelle Bachman have an important message, right, babe? Yeah, you? that was a good video. She was preaching yeah. at a conference. That might have been a Jan Markell conference for mm -hmm. all we yeah, know. Yeah, I we think just, it we was. Just, but... We just saw one guy, Pastor Hibbs, and mm -hmm. then he introduced Michelle Bachman. Right. And she is Telling wise the truth. and smart. Telling and the truth tell, about what's happening. Well, I started looking at a little bit of she was talking about. September 11th was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't recall it or didn't know it. Mm -hmm. That September 11, 1683, the Catholic Christian mil military armies from several countries and groups of people defeated Islam at Vienna. And uh, that is what 9-11 was all about there. That's what Osama <laughs> bin Laden was trying to get back at us for mm -hmm. so-called Christian uh, victory over Islam back in 1683. How many, what is that, over 300 years ago or something? That's a long time ago. But that's where we're headed again, and we know America's under judgment. There's no <laughs> question about that. We are just seeing the beginnings of that. And if we're under judgment, when we go down, I mean, it's not, it's not the lowly people that uh, the Father needs to judge. It is the, uh, the civil government, the entity, the corporate mess called United States of America. It needs to be judged. So we need to come down. Okay, I'm at an hour and four minutes, so I'm oh, gonna go okay. ahead and uh, go ahead and finish this video. I'm going over here to Maranatha. Hold on, message again. Uh, God's call to reform. God's call to reform, and this is what He's calling us to do: to reform, reform from this Babylonian life. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and play that, and then I'm gonna let you guys go uh, because time is so very short right now. So very short. Uh, okay, I'm um, gonna go ahead and mute this.
April 20, God's call to reform. He shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. John 1, 17. John the Baptist went forth in the spirit and power of Elijah to prepare the way of the Lord and to turn the people to the wisdom of the just. He was a representative of those living in these last days to whom God has entrusted sacred truths to present before the people to prepare the way for the second appearing of Christ. Those who are to prepare the way for the second coming of Christ are represented by faithful Elijah as John came in the spirit of Elijah to prepare the way for Christ's first advent. The great subject of reform is to be agitated and the public mind is to be stirred. Temperance in all things is to be connected with the message to turn the people of God from their idolatry, their gluttony, and their extravagance in dress and other things. The self-denial, humility, and temperance required of the righteous whom God especially leads and blesses is to be presented to the people in contrast to the extravagant, health-destroying habits of those who live in this degenerate age. God has shown that health reform is as closely connected with the third angel's message as it, the hand is with the body. There is nowhere to be found so great a cause of physical and moral degeneracy as a neglect of this important subject. Those who indulge appetite and passion and close their eyes for, to the light for fear they will see in sinful indulgences which they are unwilling to forsake are guilty before God. Providence has been leading the people of God out from the extravagant f habits of the world, away from the indulgence of appetite and passion, to take their stand upon the platform of self-denial and temperance in all things. The people whom God is leading will be peculiar. They will not be like the world, but if they follow the leadings of God, they will accomplish His purposes and will yield their will to His will. Christ will dwell in the heart. Your body, says the Apostle, is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Absolutely, guys. Absolutely. Like I told you already, we need to, uh, no, no, no. We need to understand what it says there. This is Job again, 13.4. But you are forgers of lies. You are all physicians of no value. I've been showing it on my channel a while now but all the tornadoes and quakes and tsunamis and asteroids and whatever can come at you we need to put our trust in the father almighty god he is the only one that has given us uh great uh counsel great counsel if you really would read proverbs read matthew luke john uh read all the uh revelations and daniel what he have told his prophets of old a lot of people say, oh, we ain't no, we're not in the Old Testament. Yes, we are in the Old Testament. We're not living in the Old Testament. But all the things written in the blueprint from the Old Testament should be making you wiser and stronger and not dummies, really. You should lear learn from the forefathers all these things they did. I was reading something last night. I'm going to come back with Sabbath and show you uh, about uh, how important Sabbath is, how important his commandments are. And so uh, we know what war going on and about the breakout and man is getting crazy and controlling and they want to do it their way. We're going to find out really breaking news, people. Breaking news will be on our screens one day uh, where we'll be doing some uh, one world government and all these things will be coming, an antichrist system. And you guys need to be really ready, 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 ready. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go now, but I want to thank you guys uh, for all your uh, offerings we've been getting to help the homeless, the orphans, the widows, those in need in mission fields. May Yahuwah richly bless each and every one of you. Uh, you can go to Tyler app. You can go to WhatsApp. I mean, Cash app. Uh, you can go to the bump card at https slash https colon slash slash geniamarner.thebumpcard.me uh, You can go to other donation options at fmcmi.org uh, You can go to marner.cam at gmail.com at paypal uh, And also mail in your donations at Fill My Cup Ministry, Post Office Box 414, Canyon City, Colorado 81215 and also shipping address is Fill My Cup Ministry, 1501 Main Street, 
number 414 Canyon City, Colorado, 81212. And so I'm just going to go ahead and pray with you guys. I really hope uh, you go look in the description box and see all the other postings and other news down there. I'm sorry I missed out on BP Earth Watch, but uh, you know, if you saw all over the news, it's not even much on TV, though, I'm surprised. But uh, this La Palma thing is getting out of control, and a lot of things are happening there. So just be praying over all these things going on over the earth. Uh, and so we just thank you guys. And uh, my husband got an announcement, I guess, and then we're going to pray, okay? Oh, uh, I spent a few hours today. We've, I've moved our blog off of WordPress, and I'm probably closing that by the end of the year, but we moved it over here to our own blog on our, on our website, our ministry website. So it shows up on here now. And you can pick different categories. I think you can find Marner's Bibles or books and stuff. Marner's books, Marner's poetry, and our daily drink. So all our blogs are on here, and we'll be posting on our website. And hopefully we can get Marner to even learn how to do that, and we can maybe even post our <laughs> videos on here as we learn how to use it. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're, it doesn't look all fancy and pretty now, but apparently we can put all kinds of media inside of that. So we'll try to do that as we get going with it. So, we ready to pray? Or yeah, we're ready okay. to pray. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much, so much that we are getting closer and closer every day to the end of time as we know it, to the end of this world as we know it. And we just thank you for everyone that gets to watch and view these videos. Help us all to get our hearts prepared to meet you face to face. Father, we just love you so much. It's a blessing. Bless everyone, Father, our donors, our supporters, our prayer partners. Father, everybody that's hurting, needs physical healing, mental healing, spiritual healing, all kinds of healing, financial healing. A lot of people uh, losing their jobs now because of their taking a stand on their conscience, Father. Hmm. Help them to stand with you to the end. Help us all to stand with you to Hallelujah. the end. In Yeshua's name, amen. Thank you so much, Father, for being God all by yourself. We really amen. appreciate you, Father. Love you so much. Mm -hmm. So, people, we're going to go now, and I'll see you on another video. Uh, I did. I, I was going to make this quick announcement, and I wasn't going to do it at first, but I guess I will do it anyway, because I, I, may, I may not get around to it today. I have another channel called End Time Opportunities, and it's just talking about work at home, uh, things you can do, and stuff like that, but... I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys right now uh, that the company we use with the bump card, they are having a very Oktoberfest uh, special. And if you own any businesses out there, I know anybody got businesses that want to uh, market their business better, uh, you need to look in the description box and you'll sell a link there and you can see all about what they're doing for the month of October. Uh, you can get like how you explain that you get uh you can get a bump card you can get um you go into this menu here you buy whatever package you want yeah um, ba -ba -ba -ba, all products and package you go with that you can become a consultant where you can buy i think it's the 89 dollar deal now they will build you a funnel for mm -hmm. collecting prospects and phone numbers and contact information to uh, improve your customers increase the number of your customers to help you stay in contact with customers because the $89, pack, $89 mm -hmm. package comes with uh, CRM, Customer Relation Management, yeah. and 5PC texting. Mm -hmm. So you can do text message marketing. And then they're going to include funneling, which will funnel from that text message thing to your CRM program. Okay. There's a lot they're throwing in, and that's just free this month of October. Okay. Regularly, yeah. I think that comes in the $169 package. You have to, right, right. and then they were charging a couple hundred dollars to do that funnel, right. that funnel thing. Yeah. So this is a pretty good deal. You save 200 bucks at least. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I just wanted so to announce that this, to you all guys. This menu, uh, you can check it out yeah, on our, yeah. our landing page here. If you guys uh, know anybody right got a business and want to uh, improve their business. So I'm going to go now, and we'll see you guys on another video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. All right. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Shalom.